Today on the Arkham Chronicle, we're talking all about ordering direct from Fantasy Flight games in the US if you're an overseas customer. The examples you will see are UK ones, and the experience may or may not be similar for other countries. So why would you want to order directly from Fantasy Flight when other online retailers are often cheaper? The first reason is because some items such as the Arkham Horror Premium Miniatures are only available direct from the FFG web store. You can find listings on other retailers' websites, but we've never actually found any in stock. The second reason is to get items early. Fantasy Flight is currently printing its own scenario packs in-house and making them exclusively available via its web store. They do eventually make their way to retailers, but there is a period where these are only available directly. The third reason is to get exclusive deals and bundles. The book, The Investigators of Arkham Horror, was available as a premium pre-order, which included an exclusive playmat, four art prints, and best yet, three preview cards. So how can you do it? You can navigate to the product page for Arkham Horror the Card Game on the Fantasy Flight Games website, select the products you want, and follow the instructions to create an account. They only accept credit and debit cards, so remember to check how much your card issuer charges for currency conversion. You can't use PayPal, and you can't check out as a guest. You have to give them your personal information. Let's find out how much it is to send a product to the United Kingdom. Always click the proceed to checkout to view all the shipping options. You can see it costs more in postage than it does to buy the product itself. The three services they offer are USPS First Class International. USPS stands for United States Postal Service, which is America's national postal service. The service is advertised as one to eight weeks, which is a huge margin as it needs to cover everywhere from Canada to Timbuktu. The next service from the US Postal Service is Priority Mail International, which promises delivery in 6 to 10 days. If you're in the UK, this will always be your least attractive option. The final option is Worldwide Expedited from UPS. The United Parcel Service is a huge global courier company with its own fleet of aircraft that can trace its history all the way back to the American Messenger Service founded in 1907. If you can wait for the new hotness, you might want to combine a few of these products into one shipment. If you ordered the Curse of the Ruguru and Carnivale of Horrors at the same time, the shipping cost is exactly the same. But the best way to save money is to find other gamers and organize a combined purchase and use the power of numbers to spread the large cost of delivery. You can do this amongst your playgroup, gaming club, or find gamers on the internet. Let's walk you through how the prices alter with quantity. The case quantity for these print-on-demand scenarios is 12. When a manufacturer selects the case quantity, they are usually picking the optimum weight and volume of a package to get the most economical transport cost. Now, an interesting thing happens on the web store once you reach bigger numbers. This little box pops up and tells you that you can't order more than 30 units of a product via the web store. It tells you to email sales. So we did! If they ever reply, we'll let you know what they said. As 30 seems to be a magic number, we put in the following figures. You can see that if you can get your entire country to order at the same time, your shipping price really drops. Once your payment clears, then you get a nice confirmation email with an order number. It's important to remember that even with pre-order items that are months away, you'll need to pay the full cost at the time of ordering, unlike someone like Amazon, who will charge you when the item is in stock and dispatched. If you choose one of the premium services, and we recommend that you do, then you can follow your package as it moves through the system. This is very handy to see if it's been held up in customs. Once you've placed an order, keep an eye on the internet forums to see when other people are receiving their dispatch emails or actually their product. If you aren't receiving yours about the same time as someone else in your country, then chase it up. When you order products from overseas, either as a business or a consumer, you are liable for tax. If the value of the goods you order is over £15 in the UK, then you are liable for VAT at 20%. This 20% is based on the total price you pay, including the shipping and the insurance, so it's a lot more than you think. If the value of the goods you order is over £135, then you get charged again. And the rate at which you get charged isn't clear, because it depends on an archaic system of classification that includes such highlights as unmounted glass eyes for dolls and bells, gongs and the like. We're pretty sure you don't need to worry about it for small orders. If you choose one of the USPS options, then your item will probably arrive via Royal Mail, delivered by your postman who will want you to pay it up there and then, before handing over the package. The same happens if you have it shipped UPS. Once you hand over your cash on the doorstep or ring up customer service to pay via credit card, then it's all yours. And with UPS, you can also pay the customs charges in advance. As soon as it clears customs in the US, you can ring up your UPS customer services and pay over the telephone, meaning you won't have any hassle on your doorstep. Packaging is generally very good. We've had four orders from Fantasy Flight Games delivered via UPS and there's not been a single damage to any of the boxes or the contents. 